So with the end of the Hashira training arc, I wanted to start a series on this channel where I go through every single Infinity Castle arc fight. I will be breaking this massive arc up into a series of videos over the next couple weeks. Of course, this will contain major spoilers for the Infinity Castle arc, so please proceed with caution. To sum up the end of the Hashira training arc, Muzan attacked the Ubiyashiki mansion and all the Hashira arrived on the scene after witnessing a massive explosion. All the Hashira, including Tanjiro, engaged with Muzan, but just as they all go into strike, the Infinity Castle doors open and the entire Slayer Corpse is thrust into the Infinity Castle, where every member gets split up. For this first episode, we're going to start with the fight between Shinobu, Domo, Inosuke and Kanao. Shinobu wanders the halls of the Infinity Castle after finding herself alone. She finds herself overwhelmed with the scent of blood and continues to investigate the source of the smell. Shinobu eventually finds herself at a door where the smell is incredibly strong. She opens the door to see no other than Upper Moon 2, Doma, devouring a group of women. Doma then speaks to Shinobu, explaining that to save these women from pain, he's giving them death by devouring them. Shinobu quickly identifies Doma as the very demon that killed her elder sister Kane. In response to Doma's earlier statement, Shinobu calls him insane as one of the women currently still alive screams out for help. Doma is enraged by this and goes to kill the women, but as he strikes, Shinobu uses her rapid movement to save the young woman. However, Shinobu was slightly too late as the young woman ended up exploding from internal injuries. Shinobu is furious about this, once again hinting at Doma being insane. She then asks if Doma recognises the Hayori she is wearing, following it up with a question. You're the one who killed my sister, right? Doma immediately remembers the older Kocho sibling and teases Shinobu about how he was never able to devour her and how he would have loved to. But before Doma could finish that very sentence, Shinobu would strike incredibly fast, thrusting her blade into his eye. Doma would mock Shinobu by saying she would need to behead him. However, Doma underestimates Shinobu as her wisteria poison begins to kick in. Doma is affected by this and he kneels over to cough up blood. Since Doma is a demon, however, he's quickly able to break down the poison. Doma is obviously messing with Shinobu as he finds being poisoned fun and wonders if Shinobu's next mixture will work on him, even inviting her to give it a shot. The problem now is that Doma's blood demon art has already begun to take effect and it's getting harder for Shinobu to breathe, with the small shards of ice entering her lungs. Shinobu realises in this moment that she would need to finish Doma off fast, so she places all her bets on injecting him with as much poison as she can. Shinobu then uses her insect breathing to dash towards Doma, injecting him with wisteria poison. This even impresses Doma as he compliments Shinobu's speed. However, despite her sheer speed, Doma was able to land a few hits on Shinobu as well, once again mocking her, explaining that if she had the strength to behead demons, she may have already won this battle. Shinobu is plagued by these insecurities of having a small frame compared to others, and wonders why she never grew any taller, knowing full well that if she had a little bit more muscle density and was a little bit taller, she could have won this battle easily. Shinobu reaches a breaking point where she laments not being able to continue fighting. Shinobu's willpower, however, doesn't give up so easily, and she recalls the words of her elder sister. Shinobu, you can do it. Just keep trying. With this encouragement, Shinobu begins to rise again and uses insect breathing once more, but this time she goes so incredibly fast that Doma can't read her movements. He tries to swing, hoping to land a hit, but Shinobu dodges and thrusts her sword into him again, pinning him into the ceiling. With this, Shinobu has used every ounce of strength she has, and Doma squeezes her into him, where he begins to absorb her. Just in that moment though, Kanao arrives and screams out to her master. Shinobu gives Kanao a hand signal that only she would recognise, and Kanao then goes in to attack Doma. Doma, however, dodges and tells her not to intervene while he's absorbing the Hashira. Doma finishes absorbing Shinobu, and with that, the insect Hashira dies. Doma then senses that one of the Upper Moon demons has been defeated, and he begins to cry over the loss. However, Kanao calls out his fake personality, stating that he doesn't actually care about anyone. This angers Doma, and he goes in to attack. Kanao manages to dodge this attack last second, and even counters slicing at his stomach. Despite Kanao managing to avoid that last attack, she's enraged and flooded with emotions, feeling a burning hatred for the demon before her. This is a feeling that Kanao has never felt before, and she channels all this rage into her blade, firing off several attacks, but Doma easily counters this. The Upper Moon 2 demon then 
then notices how Kanao is managing to avoid his attacks and realizes that it's due to her eyesight. She has such a keen eye that she can predict Doma's attacks based on his movements. With this realization, Doma attempts to slice at Kanao's eyes to take away her eyesight, but Kanao dodges last second yet again. Doma then attempts to fire off some more attacks, but Kanao retreats with each attack and Doma even mocks her for this, stating that she's got to get close or else she can't behead the demon. Doma then steals Kanao's Nidrine sword and plants it firmly in the ground as a way to draw her in, but just then a figure bursts into the room through the ceiling and no other than Lord Inosuke arrives announcing that he will kill Doma and become a Hashira. Inosuke then lectured Kanao telling her not to get injured or Shinobu would be incredibly upset, but Inosuke quickly realized from Kanao's face that Shinobu had been killed. With this news, Inosuke dashes forward to attack Doma and then quickly disappears. Doma realizes that Inosuke actually took Kanao's Nitrine sword back and gives it to the young Slayer. This is where the fight begins to ramp up again, as Inosuke and Doma begin to battle it out. Inosuke even uses a new technique where he dislocates his arms to have a further reach with his blades. Unfortunately, this doesn't quite behead Doma, instead slices his eyes. Doma compliments Inosuke's flexibility, stating that in his lifetime, he's never met anyone like Inosuke. Curious by the Slayer, Doma steals Inosuke's mask and begins to ask about it. But once Doma looks up at Inosuke's face, he stops for a moment, wondering where he's seen Inosuke before. In a desperate attempt to recall his memories, Doma digs into his own brain, where he recalls the memories of Inosuke's mother. It turns out that Inosuke's mother ran away from a super abusive relationship. She fleed with baby Inosuke, where she ended up at Doma's temple, believing she was finally in a safe place. However, she would soon learn about Doma's demonic nature, and out of fear for Inosuke's and her own safety, she would attempt to flee the temple. However, Doma would quickly catch up. It was in this moment that she knew she would likely be killed, so out of desperation to save Inosuke, she throws him off a cliff into the river below. Doma at the time believed that baby Inosuke would certainly not survive, however we know from the Demon Slayer story that Inosuke would end up being raised by boars. Back in the present day, Inosuke would be taken back by the idea of having a mother, not realizing he even had one at all, and fully believing that he was raised by boars. Doma would then interrupt, telling Inosuke he never wanted to devour her, as she was so pure. He then continues saying that she would hum a particular song to Inosuke while holding him. This is when the memories come flooding back into Inosuke's head. Doma continues to mock Inosuke, which rightfully enrages him. Inosuke then states that he will send Doma straight to hell. Both Kanao and Inosuke would begin to attack Doma, but with no such luck. Doma then announces his departure as he tries to leave using a blood demon art to summon clones to continue the fight for him. Inosuke panics knowing full well that they can't let Doma escape, but Kanao reassures him that they just need to fight for a moment longer. Doma is confused by this statement, but shrugs it off in the end. But just as Doma is beginning to retreat, his face begins to decay. This is when Shinobu's plan is finally revealed. It turns out that Shinobu had been consuming Wisteria for the last 365 days in preparation of this very battle. Shinobu even told this plan to Kanao during the Hashira training arc where she would explain her last ditch plan should things turn south. Shinobu had planned to be consumed by Doma as she knew that he would most likely not be able to resist. So when the time came, he wouldn't just be consuming Shinobu but all the Wisteria poison inside of her, which is the very thing that was causing Doma's body to now decay. Back in the present day, Doma's ice clones would also then shatter as Kanao screams out to Inosuke that this is their only chance. Doma then uses his ultimate move to try and regenerate, but due to the poison, it wasn't as strong as usual. Inosuke and Kanao would then take this opportunity to strike, with Kanao even activating her own ultimate move, Equinoctical Familiar Eye. This ultimate move allowed Kanao to push her kinetic vision to its limits and made the world around her feel like slow motion. With this ultimate move, however, overuse of the technique can result in permanent blindness. Kanao then goes in for the final blow at Doma's neck, but Doma freezes the blade in place. Inosuke then throws his blades at Kanao's to give it just a little bit more power, and with that, Doma is finally beheaded. As Doma begins to decay completely, he meets with Shinobu one last time, where he fully believes that he's in love with the insect Hashira, and confesses his feelings towards her. Kanao then retrieves Shinobu's hairpin from the water, but just then, the spirits of Shinobu and Kane congratulate Kanao on defeating the upper moon demon. That brings
brings the fight to a close. I'll be covering the Tanjiro and Giyu versus Akasa fight in my next video, so stay tuned for that. Meanwhile, I did cover every Hashiro in a tier list video, so if you would like to see more Demon Slayer content, click on this video here. I'm Tree, logging off.